this is uh, the video showing importing of uh, the data for pre alpha release of drishti 3.0 now this version pre alpha release of drishti 3.0 uh, it will have both recasting as well as uh, uh, the slice based volume rendering now let's import this volume here this is uh, stack beetle uh, so drag and drop into the importer this is a raw file and the file type the voxel type is unsigned short and the grid size is 494 by 832 by 832 okay now uh, drishti 3.0 will allow you to switch between ray casting as well as the slice based uh, volume rendering mode now this is the data so let's press S or you can go um, save as so press S and then it, the the format is, has, is changed for uh, Drishti 3.0 this is again let me just uh, reiterate that this is pre alpha release of Drishti 3.0 um, the data is going to be now saved saved in uh, HDF5 format. So let's just save it as stack beetle and no sampling. The both the importer as well as the render interface for uh, Drishti 3.0 is uh, very similar to Drishti 2.0. Zero. So users would be able to easily uh, understand the interface of uh, this pre-alpha release uh, if they are familiar with the older Drishti interface. Now this is done. Now let me show you how this file looks like. So. This is HDF view. So let me just bring this HDF view here. And this is the file, the raw file. And these are the two files that were created. Again, like previous version of Dishti, this is the XML file and this is where the actual data resides. So let me just drag and drop this HDF5 file here. And this is the, the structure of the file. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm storing different level of details uh, of that data within a single file and this data is saved in a block format uh, 32 cubed blocks okay so turn that off and let me start the renderer so this is the renderer here this is the logger and the transfer function window now we will drag and drop the bvf file in the previous version of drishti or drishti 2.0 uh, version uh, users would uh, drag and drop the pvl.nc file uh, the pvl.nc file and the BF, bvf file are very similar they are xml formatted files the only difference is uh, uh, the data in the case of previous version um, is uh, was to save it as, as a raw uh, and split into multiple files whereas with this pre-release uh, pre-alpha release of Drishti 3.0 the, the data is saved in a single file this is an HDF formatted file um, multiple level of details are stored in a single file uh, it's in a compressed format and uh, compressed blocked format so let's drag and drop this BVF file here yeah. So this is the the recasting interface. So what you are seeing here is the recasted image of the of the volume. Let me just remove this. And you can press F2 and it will take you to the high res mode. So this is very similar to the slice based rendering where you go from low res mode to high res mode. Now in, in the high res mode what you see here is that the image is created from low res to high res 
progressively and you can also switch between the versions so this is a rendering style slices and then it will load uh, all the slices uh, uh, for that for that data for a given uh, level of details and uh, once the slices are loaded you would be able to work uh, with the data uh, as though uh, it was like version 2.0 so this is the slice based mode even in slice based mode you can go press F2 and for example select say a smaller block of data for example say just tiny one here press F2 again now you are, you are in the sliced based rendering mode you can see it from here and uh, again press toggle and go to recasting mode here and then you are in recasting mode here again if you press F2 you are in the low res block mode of the uh, recasting recasting window here press F2 and this shows uh, what is the size of the um, or what is the ra or what range of the volume has been selected and you can remove those boxes by pressing B and then capital B so capital B is for the outer box and uh, small b is for the inner box yeah. so so give it a try uh, as I said this is this is a pre-alpha uh, release um, of Drishti 3.0 and uh, as I um, make more and more changes to the program I'll be releasing the help videos showing uh, what else is possible um, yeah so uh, give me a feedback uh, also if um, also you can um, tell me about the the interface what you think about the interface um, uh, is it intuitive or you would like to make any changes or you would like to see improvements in the interface so please please uh, feel free to send me your feedback